What I'm going to show you next is how we typically treat someone with a posterior canal BPPV. So again, that's when you have those little crystals that have moved from the part of the inner ear where they're supposed to stay into one of the canals and that causes that positional vertigo. Um, so usually dizziness described as spinning, lasting seconds, usually with movements such as getting out of bed, bending forward, reaching up, um, rolling in bed. So um, I'll teach you how to do the treatment. So I'm gonna have you bring both of your legs up on top of the mat table. Now remember, this requires a test to determine which side the crystals are in. And again, remember there are six semicircular canals and we're only, we're only treating one of those canals. So it's very important that you know which canal the crystals are in before you try to treat it. So I'm gonna have you slide your body over toward me. So this is as if we're treating the right posterior canal. So I want you to slide forward toward your feet just a little bit right there. And now I want you to turn your head about 45 degrees to the right. And then on three, I want you to lie all the way back, allowing your head to fall back. Now you might have some, some spinning with this, so just be aware of that. And if you do, just try to breathe through it and let it pass. Should, la should only last seconds. All right, so on three, lie all the way back. One, two, three. Good, allow your head to fall back, keep that head 45 degrees. And then here I would be looking to see what kind of eye movements she had. We'd be waiting for any symptoms and any of those eye movements to calm down. And then we would wait an additional 30 seconds. And feel free to bend your knees up if that's more comfortable for your back. After that 30 seconds is over, I'm gonna have her slot, uh, roll her head over to the left 90 degrees. So now she'll be facing 45 degrees to the left from center. And then again, we would wait until any symptoms fully subside plus 30 seconds. And then I would have her roll over onto her left side, but it's very important that she keep her head touching the mat table. So roll over onto your side, good. And now turn your head another 45 degrees and tuck your chin down slightly right there. And again, when we would do this in the clinic, I would be sure to, to have a good hold on her to make sure that she didn't fall or lose her balance because you can have some significant vertigo with this position. So you just wanna make sure that you don't, you don't fall off of whatever surface you're lying on. All right. So then again, we would wait until all symptoms have subsided plus 30 seconds. And then the next position is to sit back up, but it's important that you keep your head turned toward the left and your chin tucked. Good. And again, you might feel a big spin when you come back up. So just make sure that you either have someone with you or you feel like you're in a safe space if you were to lose your balance and fall backward. All right, and then you can slowly bring your head back to the center.